sometimes you fall into the water sometimes you Get above the waves Sometimes you struggle to grit your breath Sometimes you can't stay afloat Sometimes you wanna give up Sometimes you wanna let go You feel the water rising above your head Catching your breath, tossing and turning in your bed. You're falling, you're drowning. When you wake up from your sleep. On the floor, you look to the ceiling Just a dream, it's just a dream It's not real But you lay there Gasping for air Praying to God It was just a Nightmare You're drowning You're falling Out of bed again Haven't slept for seven weeks But it's not a nightmare It's not a dream anymore Now the salt water and the sun's on your clothes Lying on your floor, drowning but you're awake inside You're gasping, you're kicking, you're kicking for oxygen. But no one comes, no one knows that it's all just a dream again. No one knows you're drowning inside You're slowly falling and drowning Can you escape? Can you care?
catch your breath on the floor How do you fall out of your bed like a nightmare? Tossing and turning, flailing around like a flounder out of water. Can you catch your breath? 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 Welcome to the Sunday on the Monday Or is it Tuesday? I can't remember Welcome to the Monday Welcome to the Sunday Welcome to the Tuesday I can't remember Doesn't really matter, doesn't really matter I'm just happy you are here I spent too much time on the lake I got sunburned and I look like a red lobster Welcome to the Sunday, welcome to the Monday, welcome to the Tuesday, I can't remember. I've been sitting on the boat and I'm drinking and I've been just enjoying getting sunburned. Doesn't matter, there's breeze in my hair and the sun is shining. This is a Sunday, this is a Monday, I can't remember. I've been waterlogged, I've been having so much fun in the sun. Without you, without you, without you. I wasn't expecting a phone call to tell me how you're doing all But I sit on the lake and my skin bakes like a lobster in the lake
face Blue eyes is a lake Long black hair And you're standing in front of me Dripping wet What are you doing here? Angels don't appear I see a seagull fly on by Land in the lake and you dissolve in the mirage What are you doing here? Angels don't exist in this lake I see a seagull fly through you Like your hollow, your ghostly image What are you doing here? You don't belong in these waters What are you doing here? sit in my chair and I sulk and I try and I try to think why angels have to die I feel like Sinji all my life is flashing before my final eye I see your reflection, why are you here? I see a seagull, quick near mirage, disappear. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? You don't belong in these waters. A seagull fly by Makes your mirage disappear <sighs> There's something out on the lake I don't, I don't know if it's a seagull. I don't know if it's a, what is that? There's something out in the lake. It's not, it's not a Loch Ness Monster. I know the video footage can't really show it on the camera, but there's something out there. I think it's a, I think it's a, it's a, it's a type of bird that swims in the water, but it's been splashing around and just floating around, but there's something out there. I just can't figure out what type of bird it is. It's not a seagull, it's not a crane. Uh, it's definitely not a duck. It's not a, it's not a goose or a geese. Something out there. Hmm. Guess I have to go and get my bird book. Pull up my bird book. Of birds. Mm. Well, uh, thank you everyone for uh, listening to my uh, my guitar here on Pop Your Anime Punks Porch Time Stream. Thank you. Just felt like playing the acoustic guitar outside. It's a nice, beautiful day. Even though this morning it was raining and it was like, looked like thunderstorms were gonna be an all day event. The sun came out and decided to shine and dry up most of the rain, so. That was a huge bird, I'm sorry. But there's a bird out there and it's just, it is big. I think it's a goose. I think it's a, it's a Canadian goose. 
It's the only thing I think of. It's the only thing I can possibly, like, classify it as. Because it's, it's, it's uh, gray, white slender neck with a black head. Yeah. It's Canadian goose. Strange, there's only like one. Where are the ducks? What time is it? If it's... It depends on time. So, the lake gets activity for animals, especially like birds. It gets ducks, geese, but the lake activity usually gets like the group of ducks around the 4.30, five-ish. And uh, I haven't seen the group of ducks since I've been out here on the porch. So, uh, yesterday, I didn't do any streaming yesterday, um, and I want to, uh, I shouldn't really apologize, it's not really, it's no one's fault, um, I just had a stressful day and I didn't want to, uh, stream yesterday, so, took a day off, took a day off, so, hope everyone can accept that. And if he can't accept that, then piss off, you know? Oh, but, uh, my friend Chris texted me, texted me, uh, he got a, he got himself as a pre-roll. He texted me, he's like, all I need now is pepperoni. I was like, yes, buddy. All I need now is pepperoni. <laughs> Uh, it's really funny. Uh, so how is everyone doing today? Yeah, my hair is a mess, I know. i just gotten out of bed from my nap, so my hair is kind of like a mess and just... Looks like I, I got a bad head. But, yeah. Like I said, I've been sleeping really well. Um... I've been really sleeping really well. Uh, my sleeping routines have, have increased and improved. But, uh, finding time to play guitar, that's, that's the, that's the tricky part. I was uh, tuning my electric guitar and uh, I have relatives over right now. So I was tuning my guitar and I forgot when my relatives was working and my tuner uh, practicing was a little too loud. My mom and dad and come and were like, play with your other guitar. I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay, so much for electric guitar. I'll play acoustic. <laughs> so. <sighs> I uh, posted a uh, short on my YouTube channel, and uh, impressive uh, viewership got like 150 views. Yeah, my short got 150 views. 153, sorry, 153 viewers uh, and six likes. That's impressive for a short on my YouTube channel. That's impressive. So thanks for watching that. It means a lot. It means that people actually watch my, uh, my videos. And I do post. Cool. But when I live stream, no one watches. It's like, I put out the notifications on Discord. I put out the notifications saying, hey, we're live. But no one tends to tune in to uh, popper enemy punks horse talk. Nah, no. <laughs> Why should they? They're too busy. They're too busy uh, enjoying their enjoying their, their peace of time and quietness. They don't want the loudness. They don't want the noxiousness. 
They don't want the punk. What the fuck is that? June bug. Huh. Uh, seems like a nice day for a hammock. It's, it's like a cool breeze out here. It's not too windy, but, man, just lay on the hammock, and you're just, like, chilled out. Ah, uh, relaxing. What I mean by the hammock, I, I'll tell you. I got a hammock. Right there. <laughs> I got a hammock. The Mighty Barnacle. Wow, I haven't heard that name in a long time. How you been, Mighty Barnacle? How have you been? I'll ask you first. How have you been? I'll wait until you finish texting or typing. <laughs> I always... How's it doing, bud? I always forget I always forget when people uh, join me in chat on stream I always forget that uh, it takes them a while it takes people a while to take to, to type and uh, I'm, a, I'm not a fast typer though you know I I, I practiced I practice a lot, so uh, during school I got really perf perf uh, perfect at, at typing, and that's why I do a lot of writing, so it helps, it improves. Anyway, uh, Mighty Barnacle, I've been good, very busy. Yeah, I've been, I, I, I hear ya, I, 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 I would agree, uh, things have been really busy for a lot of people. So, um, I'm, I'm glad and I'm grateful that you had the opportunity to join me on the stream, in the chat, out of your busy, hectic lifestyle, so thank you very much. It means a lot. I've been, uh, I've been busy myself, working... Trying to live stream as possible. I always like to stop by and watch, see what's been up, time to time. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you've been uh, yeah, you've been really supportive of this channel. So thank you, Mighty Barnacle, for uh, showing your support in the chat. And thank you for uh, you know, stopping by. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Makes me happy. Makes me know that like I'm not doing this channel for you know anyone's entertainment. I'm just doing this channel just to talk and uh, and see if if uh, if I can actually get affiliated with uh, just a, a just variety type of streamer content. Trying. Not much of a gamer, but, you know, as a variety streamer, you know, I like to talk about random stuff. Okay, so yesterday. Uh, <laughs> yesterday, my dad came up with a brand new word. Blah. Black. Uh, it wasn't black, it was like, it was. How do you say it? Lammy. I don't know. My dad said it, like, yesterday, and everyone was, like, having their accents. Their accents are so thick. My relatives are having vis vis visiting, and so their accents are really thick. So when my dad said the word and everyone started saying the word, it was just like, what the fuck? Where are you talking about? Uh, it's black. <laughs> it's like, we don't need your black. 
You don't need to uh, in commentary. It's like, oh, okay. It was blah. <laughs> it was in a sentence. We don't need popular anime punks blah right now. Anyway, <sighs> it's a uh, it's Tuesday. Yesterday was uh, yesterday was a rough day for me, so I took a a day off from streaming, and I uh, hope everyone can accept that. Hey, Riley. Uh, How you doing? Chilling. You chilling? Yeah. Watching SpongeBob? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin's visiting. And uh, he has this cool uh, bong uh, set up. So you take a plastic water bottle. And you fill it up with water, and then you take your this uh, like little device, and you put it on top of the water bottle, and you can make a water bottle bong. It is a nifty little uh, tool for getting it high, and I was like, "Holy shit, this is cool!" Uh, he, he was he was showing it to me yesterday, and I was just like, "Oh my god, this is amazing! This is cool! This is this is like it looks really simple." Anyway, I think you can find. I think you can. Uh, uh, I think I could try to find one. He said it was like they're on Amazon, so I was like, huh. Okay. <sighs> but uh, yesterday it was a little stressful for me, so uh, what did I do? I uh, chilled out. I got high, and my whole family was um, doing gummies, and we were just laughing and having a great time. And it relieved my stress. It was for once in my life that I was surrounded by family and friends, surrounded by, you know, the ones I enjoy being around, and enjoying a nice, relaxing day on the porch. It de-stressed me, like, from, like, I was, my stress level yesterday was like at a, an 80, and after that experience of de-stressing, holy crap, I felt, felt great, you know, I felt great, I felt amazing, and that's what Maine has, uh, fucking brought out of me, is, uh, relaxing chill me which hasn't really been there you know ever since the move I've been I've been so busy with the move and I've been so busy with work and I've been so busy with you know trying to catch up on on shows and trying to catch up on you know everyone else's streams and trying to catch up on my own sleep and I've been so hectic and so busy, you know, but like just an hour, half hour, sitting on the porch, taking a gummy and just chilling out, hanging out in the hammock, holy crap, so much change, so much better change, improvement, you know, so. So I'm glad that uh, you know my bar and cool one stopped in and say hi, and I'm glad that uh, everyone else uh, that tunes in to uh, popular anime punks uh, stream uh, is doing good as well. So. 
you can still hear me, uh, cause I'm, I'm recording from the phone, so the audio might pick up the ambient sound, the wind, the breeze, the birds. It just sounds so peaceful. What a view, right? Some people are kind of envious. Some people are jealous of the view. Just like, man, I wish I could sit out on the porch and stare at a lake. You can. <laughs> it's not hard. Now people like going camping out here. You know, it's peaceful. But I live out here. I live out here on this, on this beautiful lake. I'm just... Couldn't ask for a most beautiful place. Like, this is a change in, in scenery that... I was hoping to find, you know, leaving, leaving California, which, thank goodness, I need to change the scenery, I need to change an environment, change in my mood, I need to change, and, uh, hopefully I got it. You know, hopefully I got the change that I was looking for. That I've been really trying to de-stress and get it. Hopefully I got the change I was looking for. Uh, I wish I could play my guitar, uh, my electric guitar, but my uh, relatives are, one of my relatives is working, so I have to keep it quiet, so I had to play the acoustic guitar, which, it's okay, it's just I needed to tune my electric guitar, and I tuned it, and uh, I was playing it. And, uh, it's a little too loud, so I had to go to acoustic guitar. And I was like, oh, so much for my, uh, my, my guitar practice, you know, it was kind of kind of sh cut short. But, playing acoustic guitar out on the porch, uh, my best friend, my best friend texts me, he's like, He's like, dude, why does it look like a Gibson guitar? I'm like, it's not a Gibson, it's not a Gibson guitar. It's a nice guitar. It's a nice Yamaha guitar. It's a guitar. But my friend's like, it looks like a Gibson. I'm like, oh, thanks. That's a, that's a great compliment. My uncle, uh, 
my uncle that's not not the one visiting right now but my uncle uh that has a band he's a professional drummer and uh, has a lot of instruments like he has a huge studio uh he was like he's like Corey do you want you want to get better at guitar I was like yes I do I've been I've been playing guitar since uh God, it's been like many months almost like two years I've been practicing guitar and uh trying to make up my own music and uh, writing songs anyway I told my uncle I said if he can let me uh, borrow your acoustic guitar for uh, you know practicing uh, my songs because a lot of my melodies uh, in, in my songs they need an acoustic they don't need a, a they don't need electric, but they need acoustic for the emotional uh, side of the lyrics. And uh, my uncle's like, oh, you can borrow my Yamaha guitar. So, this is uh, my Yamaha guitar. And uh, I'll try to play the best I can. I'm not the greatest guitar player. That I try. Well, we'll try to come up with a melody. No, I'm not gonna play Wonder Wonderful. Okay, I'm not gonna play Waterfall <laughs> or Wonder 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 World or, 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 or I can play a uh, Cordy Lobster. <laughs> Cordy Lobster. Oh man, my friend Kevin. My friend Kevin. We were uh, hanging out and. Uh, God, this was like way, way back in the day. We were hanging out with my friends, and uh, one of my friends is really good at playing guitar, Kevin, and he picked up the guitar and he started playing this song. Right? He started playing this song, and it was like. But it, it, it sounded different, right? And uh, it sounded like a B-52's uh, Rock Lobster. And uh, he was playing it, and he just like changed the the names up. That's pretty funny. Ah, good memory there. Great days ahead. Couldn't see the sun shine. So bright, great days ahead. I couldn't see the sun shine as bright. I didn't even know my eyes were open wide, even though my tears had all dried. I could see the bright side And I sat there for a while Waiting for my eyes to stop Shedding the tears Feeling the wind in my hair the ice cold beer I raised in my hand for you. Cheers to you, my friends, wherever you are. Have a nice cold one for me today. If it's Five o'clock somewhere You better be drinking along, I swear If it's five o'clock somewhere
You better be drinking, I swear Cause I'm going to cheers to you I'll kick that glass straight up with you Cause that's where I find my days In the summer haze On the lake On the lake As I laugh with you On the lake On the lake That's where I laugh with you I guess I die. I'm not, I'm not, like, really good at guitar, but I like sharing some of my guitar playing and music, you know, I like sharing it, and if it's, if it's good, you can like it, and if it's good, you can watch it, you can leave a comment down below, it's, it's perfectly fine. Hundred fifty three viewers for a short I did. Mm 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 mm. What a tasty burger. Someone commented on it and said, Meme boy. I was like, What? What does that mean? A meme boy. M E M E boy. I was like, what the fuck does that mean? Is it like a anime like anime joke or something like that? And uh so, I have my own anime joke. It's like, all the anime you want to currently be watching, and there's like a list, there's like a field, and nothing but snow, and the guy's snow plowing. And it's like, where the guy's snow plowing, it says, all the animes I still watch. You know? And it's like, that anime meme, like, every time I see it, I'm like, yep, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. It's like, so it's, it's a life feeling. I get it. But what I don't get is people's respect. And understanding at times. That's what I don't get. But, what can you do? What can you do with a drunken sailor? What can you do with a drunken sailor? What can you do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Take him down to the bar, take him down to the bar. Have a couple shots around. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Sailor Jerry, man. Like, dude, I love Sailor Jerry. Ah! Jerry got a new nickname. <laughs> Jerry, you got a new nickname. Sailor Jerry, buddy. Punks. Punk sailors. <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm thinking, you know, changing the name, you know, like, yeah, we're popular anime punk. I go by punk. But, you know, for the building a community and building, like, you know, a fan base or a fandom or a big, a big following here on the channel, you know, and here on the show. Like, I'm thinking of changing the name. Something that would, uh, welcome, you know, others to my channel. To share my channel and to be heard on my channel. I'm thinking of changing my name. Sadly, maybe back to unpopular, because I don't feel popular at times. 
I feel very unpopular. And it's sad. And I don't want to feel sad. I'm sick and tired of feeling sad. I'm sick and tired of feeling sad for myself. I'm sick and tired of feeling sad for others. I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of a lot of things, but there's a lot of things that we just cannot fathom, you know, or wrap our heads around it. Like, why is this happening? Why do we care? Why do we have to care? You know? Why do we have to see it? Or hear it? Why do we have to accept it? We don't. And that's the point. You don't have to. <sighs> Peace and tranquility. I accept that. I welcome it. Because I get it. Get, get relaxing days out here on the porch. Every single day. I, I get it. It's like... You got the good life. Eh. Nah. No. I got a decent life. Yeah. I got a decent job. I got a decent side gig. You know, I get it. What I don't get is why people don't follow along or subscribe as much as as other streamers. Which I don't get. Still trying to figure it out. There's still things that I still need to figure out and still need to ask nicely to understand you know use good manners use good words and people you know can uh, respect you but to do it for a publicity stunt you know I think it's kind of stupid if you ask me what are we talking about uh I don't know. I don't know what the fuck we're talking about. <sighs> Mental health awareness. You know, a lot of people deal with it. A lot of people. Not just big time, you know, celebrities, not big time. Everyone. It's hum human, human nature. Everyone's, everyone has mental health issues. At times. And people, at times, don't accept it. People at times don't understand it. People at times can't make the right uh, judgment calls at times. But at certain times, people surprise you. What surprises me is how I've been able to cope and handle uh, being away from all my friends. I left in California. How they handle that Oh, uh, if you have the guts, you got the stomach for it. You move forward.
forwards. You go forwards. And you don't look back. You think for the best. With the best intentions. You put a smile on your face and you say to yourself, things will get better. And they do. It's like every week I'm, I'm having relatives and family coming over. It's like, if only I had real, like, great friends that were close by. It's like, come on over. It's like, come on over. But uh, all my friends live far. And traveling nowadays, is it's hectic. And time, trying to find time off, it's hectic. It really is. But, like, when you get... When you get the opportunities to like hang out with your family and friends and visit and travel and get out get out of like uh, a moment in time, it's great. It's a great experience. Vacations all I ever wanted. Vacation happens every day. Vacation then is where it's at. Damn, damn. Vacation land is where it's at. Where's that at? That's a meme. <laughs> it's what they say on the license plate. <laughs> oh, so earlier today, uh, Chris and I were uh, working, and uh, oh, we were talking about today was Char Park Boys. And we're talking about Bangor, Maine. And uh, there's a dispensary in Bangor, Maine. Uh, I used to talk about. But I, uh, when I was trying to boost my uh, morale and my uh, community and uh, channel, trying to get a, a sponsor Trying to get promotions and good things coming to me. Doing the nice way, I uh, I asked uh, Firestorm uh, Cannabis uh, Recreational and Medical Marijuana Dispensary in Bangor, Maine, uh, if they would uh, support and uh, follow the channel here for popular anime punks uh, you know, channel show video blog and uh, I still haven't gotten back going to do, uh, deal with a lot of emails too many emails Ugh. people in their people some people's jobs that all they do is all they do is, is emails nothing but emails it, it must be really annoying it must be really tedious just dealing with a whole bunch of emails. It's like, can we do a different job where it's not too stressful? Uh, yeah. It's like, we're gonna unload. Okay, thanks. So I work on the unload. And, uh, it's a distressor. It's unloading boxes, which is better than loading boxes. But they, uh, they always pull me. They always pull me around, and I always don't understand why they keep pulling me from one belt to another belt to another belt. It's like, just let me 
stay at like one area even if we're short staff let me just stay at one area and focus because if he want to pull me all around I lose focus I lose interest I lose I lose like the the relaxingness of what I enjoy at my job. I like being in the moon at my job. I enjoy it, you know? And it's simple. You don't really have to deal with a lot of people. You don't have to interact with a lot of people. Sometimes, <coughs> you just wanna have a, a day where Everything goes smooth and hunky dory. And you want to have a good day. So I just tell myself, you know, as long as I have my music, as long as I have my music, I'm fucking great focus. I'll be right back. I put my guitar away. That's shopping. Uh, all right, so it's like an all-day event. Sometimes shopping nowadays. If you don't have like, I have a list. I when I go shopping, I have a list. When I follow the list, I don't browse when I'm when I'm shopping most times but when my parents go shopping and I'm just in there the, we have a list a bro is browsing it's like let's maintain the list my parents they always have like this this silly debate on you know was it on the list was it on the list and they look and they they look and they're like no it wasn't on the list so why did we get it why did we get uh the, the tortilla chips, because uh, we're having guacamole. You can't have guacamole without tortilla chips. Is on the list. Yes. Another funny uh, moment. I'm just recalling right now. Oh shit, that was funny. I'm trying to reco re recover my composure here, because that was something really funny, but ah. Uh, 
excuse the language, I don't want to say out loud. <laughs> and uh, to our viewers, I want to uh, let know, like, there's some things that I just don't want to say. Because I want to get in trouble. So. Uh, Because some people don't like language, you know, and some people don't like uh, language and speech. And I like curse words. And sometimes uh, when you have a drunken sailor, you get curse words. It's like curse, curse words. Oh, did no one watch that? Uh, did no one watch that South Park episode? Curse words. How many times can they say it on the air? It's a curse word. You don't say it. So keep calm and watch anime, and don't say the curse word. Don't say it. <laughs> don't say ducks. Without saying one curse word. Say something nice. Without saying one curse word. Say something nice. The people had those skills to, to like say something without cursing. Because I was raised, you know, and taught that you know when when you want it when you want to be serious can you be serious without cursing can you be serious enough that people will take you seriously without cursing because if you can like handle your 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 curse words or what you say people would understand you and make sense of you a lot more better cuz some of the comments that i read uh, on my channel, I don't understand why people have to be so hateful. Just saying. But anyway, I'll say something nice without cursing, without saying. Curse word. I'm trying to censor myself so I don't say a lot of curse words because, you know, whoever's watching, you know, my live streams or my channel, thank you. That goes to anyone. Thank you. I appreciate, you know, people watching. Uh, you know, my channel, watching my stream, watching my live stream, which is happening right now. I've been on Twitch for a while. I don't know how long, because it didn't have a timer here on the phone app, which I wish it did. And I don't have the stream notifications yet working on my Discord, so I can't, uh, notify, uh, others of my stream. I'm working on it, but it's kind of difficult using the phone. Just saying. Well, that's something nice. They say no curse word. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. And uh, thank you for supporting popular anime punks. Say or Jerry's. <laughs> like Gary and uh, Gary the, the, she, the sea slug. SpongeBob. I think, it's a, I think it's a snail. Gary's a snail, right? Yeah, it's not a sea slug or a sea cucumber. It's a, it's a snail. 
My cousin yesterday was watching SpongeBob. I'm like, seriously, SpongeBob? And uh, he's like, don't judge me. I'm like, I'm not judging you, Riley. But it was like, it was like, seriously, you watch SpongeBob? And he's like, dude, the original SpongeBob had some jokes that, like, for for younger generations' minds, people want to get. But you watch it now as an adult. And you watch it now, like, at my age. It's like, holy crap, that joke got by? It's like, whoa. Like, uh, the, I ripped my pants. <laughs> the SpongeBob episode where uh, he rips his pants and they're all playing like, like the monkeys type Beatles 50s music. <laughs> Cause I ripped my pants. That's a great song. <laughs> I play that sometimes when I'm working out, where I'm uh, where I'm, I'm playing badminton out here. <laughs> I'm just like trying to focus. I'm playing badminton and uh, and and uh, and and learning how to kayak. And so, I play that on my Spotify. Oh my god, I I listen to that like. 46 times <laughs> it got it got uh it got stuck uh my button got stuck at work on my music and it had shuffle and it played a song and it was on repeat i was like oh come on um and then my battery started dying low so i had to change out my earbuds so i got new earbuds i got a uh, ray band uh, ray ray ba ray ray burns ray bands Raycons. I got Raycon earbuds. Holy fuck, what a difference. What a big change from Skull Candy uh, earbuds. What a big difference. I gotta tell you, uh, listening to the music on my Raycon earbuds, holy fuck. It's, it's enjoyable. You don't have to hear everyone. They're like, so soundproof. It's amazing you know you just hear the music it's like great <laughs> it's a great time uh, when I uh, when I I sit out of the hammock and I'm just listening to my music I don't know I enjoy a cigarette oh my god it is a, it is a great time oh my god it was a great time but not all great times are the weather's beautiful like this. Sometimes it rains, and yesterday it rained. This morning it rained. So, it stopped raining. Oh, my hair's a mess. Again. <laughs> uh, so, to anyone that's like 420 friendly here in Bangor, Maine, or uh, you're on Twitch and you're listening to this or watching this or have me on Discord or follow me or whatever. If you're hearing this, you're still watching this, uh, I still you know, tune in uh, to Popper Anime Punk's uh, live stream channel here on Twitch. Or you check me out, check me out on YouTube. Uh, Popper Anime Punk at YouTube. Dot com. I, uh, I enjoy uh, a nice relaxing time using uh, gummies. Oh, shit. I like getting groovy. I like getting high. But, I do it. Because it fucking de-stresses me. It helps. Medical marijuana helps. It does.
Mm. Makes music great. Makes eating great. Makes sleeping great. And you wake up and you're just like, ah. Feel refreshed. <laughs> Some of these, uh, these, these gummies are so, uh, potent with, like, just relaxing, uh, ingredients that it's just like, ugh. Felt like a freight train hit me at times, and then like, you know, you take just just one little gummy, and you're just like pure zen. That's what my dad said yesterday, listening to the rain, and then I was listening to the rain as well, and I was like, yeah, I I could agree with that. That was nice. It was nice having conversations with my parents and my uh, relatives the other day. It was nice. We were all just enjoying the edibles and it was, it was nice. Then they played Trouble. And I have to go to work, right? And so I, so I'm sleeping and all I can hear is the, the popper from the Trouble game. And I'm like, uh, come on. <laughs> it's like, I gotta go to work. And my parents are, parents are, 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 are still playing this trouble game. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that popper is like, pop, pop. But that's the one thing that sucks about uh, working on the weekdays. It's like, I prefer working on the weekends. It's my side gig. I prefer working on the weekends. But on the weekdays, yeah. There's days I just I just don't want to go to work, <laughs> but it's like, it's like Monday, it's like, if I don't have my coffee, you know, if I don't have my sneaky snacks, you know, just like, and if I don't have my music, I'm just like, oh no, it's going to be a, a rough morning, but get my coffee in, and I got my music, and got my snacks, and works like a breeze. Until they pull you around. And it's like, oh. Can we just stay in one spot? Nope, we're short staff. wonder I'm not quite sure but I know there's a distance in my front lawn where I lose signal on my phone so I'm wondering if from here from the porch to the kayak uh, not the kayak the hammock if I can get a Wi-Fi signal if I can have Wi-Fi signal out there then I could probably live stream on the hammock listen to my music be great hmm but I'm not I'm sitting on the porch thinking about listening to music but then again I can't because I'm talking to everyone out there on Twitch so it's like hmm Maybe next stream, I'll, uh, I'll test out the, the strength of my signal, and if uh, it works, then I'll uh, have a new uh, 
area, it's a stream. Because it looks like a really nice, full, peaceful area in the yard. It's a stream. It's just the hammock. <coughs> But some uh, streamers I watch, I always wondered why they always stream in the bedroom. I always wondered. I seen uh, I seen streamers that do like live streams in different different uh, locations and that's what I find entertaining when people live stream in different locations but I don't find uh, I don't find many channels uh, that care about the community as they should care. They don't like language. So I said fuck too many times. Uh oh. <laughs> It's a curse word. Stop saying it. <laughs> I watched that uh, South Park episode on. I don't got a Paramount Plus uh, streaming service. I have like the whole South Park collection, so I was rewatching the South Park collection. <sighs> I'm I'm trying to get uh, I'm trying to get the Futurama uh, collection. Working on that. There's not a lot of uh, video stores here in Maine. Strange. You know, I miss those. I miss those days where you know, go Friday, Friday night, go to the local video store and learn, learn a video. You know, they don't make. They don't. There's, there's, there's no video stores. Everything's live streaming. Like everything, like not live streaming. But everything's like. On, on uh, streaming services. And it's like, well, what if I don't have Paramount Plus? I can't watch the show. So that's why I collect a lot of anime series and movies and uh, films, you know. So when I'm bored, I can just watch what I enjoy. <clears throat> hobbies. People have hobbies. My hobbies is film. Anything film. Very big in my hobbies. Uh, one of my favorite movies uh, by Steven Spielberg. Uh, it's called Eight Millimeter. Uh, eight Millimeter Film. That's what Eight Millimeter is uh, referencing. It's a film that uh, it was like recorded on a little camera and it had a little stick, and it was like it's. It's it's bulky, it's a bulky camera, but it's a uh, it's a little camera. Pretty cool. You don't see those often. Um, I found one at a yard sale. Uh, eight millimeter camera. Found one at a yard sale, and uh, I thought nothing of it. But I can't seem to get the the right film. Uh, I just don't make it anymore. 
because if I go on how to film and teach myself how to film with an eight millimeter film camera, that'd be pretty cool. I got my own like, uh, you know, movies. That'd be pretty cool. So, um, right now, uh, in the process of trying to save up and, and buy uh, film, but it's uh, tricky because no one makes eight millimeter film. Sucks. And it sucks that there's no uh, video store. Uh, you know what I mean? sucks. It's like, you know, like, they had Hollywood video, Blockbuster, Family Video, you know, I think after that, you know, is there, I think there's still a Blockbuster around, but, like, movies people went to the movies all the time and then all of a sudden it just stopped and then people went back to the movies and then it stopped people went back to the movies and then it just stopped but uh i just read an article saying that uh the thor movie uh it was so it was so good in the box office, but another article said that it uh, it tanked in the box office. Uh, what are your thoughts and your opinions on the new Thor movie? Uh, curious to my listeners. Um, I watched it. I'm a fan of the the Thor series and and you know comics, but I did a. Not a movie review, but a movie critique on it. And, you know, just curious of what people thought of the movie. Because some critics can be like one sided, some critics can be like, you know, a little too uh, anal about. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, um, looking into details like the music for the film was great they had a great soundtrack to the film that it worked you know you had guns and roses which if no one's heard of guns and roses like it's like when people heard metallica for the very first time because they watched stranger things five it's like idiot anyway um, you know, Guns N' Roses has been around for a long time, and, uh, you know, it's always been overplayed, their, their song, Welcome to the Jungle, you know, it's been overplayed. Why, why now, like, you know, why didn't they open up with Rainbow in the Dark? Because... I thought if they would have opened up with Rainbow in the Dark, it would have been a little bit more better in music-wise, and in position the songs and the soundtrack. I'm overanalyzing it about the music because I listened to the soundtrack um, this week, and there's some really good songs on the soundtrack, but Rainbow in the Dark is Ronnie James Dio. And that is a rock legend. And I would pick Ronnie James Dio over Guns N' Roses any time, any day, anywhere, you know. And to all my metal brothers and sisters out there listening to this, you know Ronnie James Dio was a, was a, a rock god, a rock legend. I know there's a lot of people out there that listen to music. I know there's a lot of people in the fandom there are fans out there, you know, there are, there are people out there watching, I know you are, so keep calm and watch anime.
or you can check out my uh, live stream when you can. Stay hydrated, my friends. There's a TV show I finished watching the series called The Good Doctor. It was actually a really good drama. <clears throat> but the series, it takes place with this guy who has a, some type of mental health issue and he overanalyzes things. But, and sometimes he has a hard time communicating with like his superiors he's a doctor but he's like young and uh for some odd reason throughout the series uh you know he has to make life choices and uh it's a drama right good one but there was an episode where he was trying to talk to someone he cared about and was trying to uh, let her know that he cares about her and for some odd reason the main character couldn't really express or share his emotions right um, and so she got upset in the series and uh, she uh, told him I don't know how to talk to you. And he's like, what do you mean? And she's like, I just don't know how to talk to you. And he's like, he's trying to uh, uh, figure it out. And so he, he goes to his friend and he's uh, the actor that plays his friend played in the Lost World movie and uh, Jurassic Park Lost World, played in Jurassic Park Lost World movie. Uh, he was in the scene where uh, <coughs> they had the the, uh, the Mercedes Benz uh, out uh, with off-road vehicles. And uh, the two T-Rex come down and uh, rip them apart. He, I, I don't remember that actor, but I remember that scene. Anyway, in that scene, uh, the good doctor, with that actor uh, description, he's trying to tell uh, the good doctor, the main character, uh, like, it's okay. Like, if she doesn't understand. And he's like, and he's trying to rationalize it, and he's trying to, he's like saying, he, he, it wasn't supposed to be taken seriously, or lightly, but he's rationalizing it. And, uh, you know, it made me think of my own life for, a, for a, like a bleep minute. But, man, my life's great. <laughs> That's great. But I like that episode. I'm a good doctor. I like the TV series. And I like the, the Thor movie and I like the soundtrack. But there was a, there was there was something I wanted to say but it just didn't really come out the way I wanted to say it, so Ah. Uh.
my apologies if it sounds like kind of like out there. I think I'm gonna get that notification that like I either am gonna have a low battery. Oh, we lost power today. We had a, a freak thunderstorm because of the the heat and the humidity that we lost power. And uh, I was in the bathroom, and all of a sudden I just hear this loud snap, crackle, pop, and we lost power. And I was like, oh, well, so much for my shower because we lost power. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> but power came back on, and uh, I was able to charge my phone. So it got full charge on, on my phone. So that was great. I'm just hoping that uh, we've been live streaming for a while now. So I don't know if... Uh, have enough battery life on the phone for this the main stream so if she is watching you know if she does care which she does that's what a fan does that's what a, a follower does that's what a supporter does they they watch if you if you stream it they watch if you talk about it, sometimes they watch. And if you're entertaining enough, they enjoy it. And they return to another episode, and another episode, and another episode, and another stream. Mm -hmm. well, keep returning to my stream, bad chance. Doesn't work that way. Because, uh, you know, we don't play games. I just talk. A mosquito bite my leg the other day. And, uh, it's weird. Like, when a mosquito bites you, you feel like a tingling feeling, and you're like, what the fuck was that? And then you're like, oh, fucking mosquito. And I saw it, and it was, and I could see its blood gathering in its stomach. And I flicked it, and when I flicked it off my leg, like the little blood. It, like, squirted out. I was like, ooh, gross. <laughs> that happens to be at work, and I was like, I was like, ooh, gross. But I thought it was pretty cool. It was like, wow. Like, that little tiny insect took a little sample of my blood, and I got it back, and I flicked it. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that was crazy. Mosquitoes, man. Gotta look out for them. <laughs> Blood pathogen, like, insects. Mosquitoes. They're nasty little fuckers. Just like bed bugs. Fucking nasty little fuckers. Holy shit. Bed bugs, mosquitoes, ants. When you, when you have, when, uh, spiders, I fucking hate spiders. Oh, God. Don't get me started on spiders. I can hate spiders. Yes, 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 yes. I know. I know. Spiders help. Help the environment. Help the world from collapsing on itself. Uh, yeah. But I'm arachnophobic. So I hate spiders. And the way, one place I want to visit and travel to 
has like the most dangerous spiders in the world known to man. And it's like, nope. It's like, damn it. <laughs> Try to find somewhere else to, to, to see. When I go to Australia, it's like, yeah, Australia would be great. Australia would be like, beautiful. But they have a lot of deadly animals and deadly creatures that, of course, the rare one, you know. Where, uh, anyway, I, I, uh, the mosquito, uh, bit me today, and, uh, got me thinking, you know, why are they so bad this summer? Uh, this summer I've been on the lake, uh, here in the East Coast, and they've been really, there's like been really a big annoyance of them. Uh, over the nights, we set up the, the mosquito bug zapper, and like every night I'm out there just watching it, hearing the snap, crackle, pop, and it's just like entertaining. <laughs> it's like watching paint dry. It's just like, whoa. <laughs> well, that was a loud one. Or they, they sound like, like when when all the bugs start going to the bug zapper, it's like zzz, 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 zzz. it's like whoa! It's like little mini fireworks and the bug zapper. <laughs> Pretty cool. Ain't gonna lie. I mean, like I had a I had a I had a, a night that I was I was uh, I was I was a little high and I was just chilling out and I was watching the bug zapper all night. I was like, ah. <laughs> I hate people's names. I usually uh, have a hard time with people's names. If I really like you, I give you a nickname. But I always have a hard time remembering people's names. And especially like when I get like chat, when I get chat and I have, I have I have to read their names. It's like, how do I pronounce your name? How do I pronounce it, your name? It's like, and I'm trying to think politely and uh, nicely, and I'm trying to figure out how to say your name without like flubbering it up. And uh, it's hard because My eyesight isn't the best at times. But thank goodness I don't wear glasses. I wear sunglasses. But There's a, there's a nest in the yard. There's a nest and there's baby chickadees. I was like, oh, chickadees. Would you look at these? There's chickadees. Chickadees in my trees. I was like, oh, wow. And I, and I, 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 I went downstairs into the, into the library and I pulled out uh, my bird book that my girlfriend had uh, given me uh, on my on Christmas. She actually gave it to me on Christmas, this bird book. And I uh, I looked up to see what the type of egg and uh, bird was, and it's a chickadee. We have chickadees in Maine. <laughs> Pretty cool. So thank you for that bird book. <laughs> God, I 
There's so many cool birds out here. Late night sometimes, uh, like around like 3, 4.30 in the morning on the lake, lake shore. You can see uh, uh, this, this crane uh, perched on a rock on the lake and uh, it, it does night fishing. I noticed that one time I was drinking my coffee and had my cigarette before I was going to work. I noticed that on the lake because the moon was so full and it was glowing and I couldn't pull out my phone quick enough to take a picture of it that it was like a painting. It was like a painting and I just want to like just take a snapshot of it and be like, wow, that was amazing. That was an amazing picture. Problem was, I was drinking my coffee and having my cigarette and... I missed the opportunity to get a good picture of that. Cause I can't find my camera. I can't find my camera that uh, was given to me by uh, my ex-girlfriend that's no longer here. I say ex-girlfriend because uh, Jenna Noah Kelly was my like ex-girlfriend. And uh, she's the only girlfriend I've had. And she's no longer here. And I got a camera, and I've been trying to uh, take pictures uh, with her camera. But that girl took so many pictures with her camera that, like, there's archives and archives of, of pictures. And uh, I had to go through all those pictures and find uh, all her bird pictures and see if she found the one with me running around with a flock of seagulls. I need to find that picture. That's a, that's a funny picture. Oh, there's that loon. Listen. Sometimes, sometimes the audio could pick up. Oh, I start talking and the loon goes. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I had to unload like four deer stands today. I was like, man, deer hunting. You're up in a tree and you're deer hunting like is it, is it comfortable <laughs> I'm curious I'm curious if, if it's comfortable just hanging out and up in the tree I mean I never had a tree house growing up but you know I've seen the this TV series called amazing tree houses it was like an old show that kind of I stumbled upon and I was like, wow. There are like houses and trees. Tree houses. That's what they're called. <laughs> but like, people have got, gone out and like made their own tree houses. And like, spent billions and trillions of dollars in making like fancy tree houses. And it's like, holy crap. Holy crap. Like, there's a. There's a. Uh, like, like billion dollar like tree houses show on HGTV and it's like holy crap that house is like a mansion in a tree crazy like there was one that had like nine bathrooms like why do you need nine bathrooms in a fucking house like that why why do you need nine bathrooms? That's like outrageous. I can see like maybe like having like one, two, three, but nine bathrooms in a fucking house? That's huge. That's fucking crazy. Anyway, but I started this tree house on the show and it was like, holy crap. 
pretty cool. It's like Ewoks. <laughs> They're in the trees. Like the Star Wars, you know, like the... Uh, that's... That, that... Is that themed in the Star Wars theme? I, I gotta ask my cousin this. My cousin's here, and he, he's been to the Star Wars theme area in Orlando, Florida. And, uh, I haven't gone yet. I haven't gone to the Star Wars, uh, theme area in Orlando, Florida yet. I want to. I want to, uh, but I haven't gone out there yet. Um, and nor have I did it in Disneyland. Which, unfortunately, is like, damn. I still need to finish that. That's on my, that's on my to-do list. And it's like on my can-do, uh, to-do list of finish it off. It's like this... Uh, but uh, it might be a might be a while. Gotta yeah, find the right time, even though it's summer and you know it'd be a perfect time to to travel to Florida. I gotta think of uh, the long term. So Uh, I don't know how much battery life I have on the, on the phone. <laughs> I don't know. So, I, I know we, we totally passed the 30 minute mark threshold, so it's a pretty uh, nifty uh, thing. But, you know. Get in there. Do do Wish I had this going on in my chat, my chat. Wish I had this going on in my chat. No, I don't get thumbs up. <laughs> I don't get likes. <laughs> I don't get I don't get like emojis. I don't get a wild chat in my chat. I don't. Not in my live streams. Oh well. <laughs> Uh, there's a guy who's cross playing Stingy, and there's a, a dancing uh, uh, Neon Genesis character. Everyone, move, 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 body. <laughs> oh, God. I, I, I saw that this morning at like 3 a.m. in the morning. And I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, people are like, do you get enough sleep? Yes, I get a lot, a lot of sleep. I get enough sleep. But it's like, it's like, sometimes you see those memes where it's like, did you get enough sleep? Yes. Are you sure about that? Yes. And you go down to the last one, and it shows like, a character is just like, it's like, did you get enough sleep? The character's like, yes. <laughs> With the coffee but he like looks like he's been beaten up and just like he's been tired for a long time it's like oh my god <laughs> it's like dude get some sleep <sighs> but i got enough sleep I hope everyone else got enough sleep out there, cause I'm like I like I said I've been busy. You've all probably been busy as 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 
as as well. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's been a, uh, it's a long, enjoy long day. You know, a long day. We had a long day. You sat down. You took a cigarette in your hand. You lit it right up. You took an inhale. You sat and looked at the lake outside. It was a fish. It jumped out. You tried to reel it in with your rod. It got loose. You let it go. There goes a catfish in the lake today. Ah, there you go. Short little song about a lake. And they return. Did they follow the list? I don't know. We'll find out. You guys need help? Um, yeah. Yeah, I can meet love night. Yes. Yes. <laughs> meet when mom says meet love night. Yes. <laughs> so I got that to look forward to. Meet love dinner. Yes. <laughs> I had to put some beer down in the in the basement because it's nice and nice and cold down in the basement yeah i was like i see i see my cousin and i'm like I'm like hey he's like hey cousin sometimes doesn't talk to me <laughs> i don't 
don't know why. Like, I haven't seen my cousin for, like, a while. Anyway, I was just like, sup? And he's like, sup? And I'm like, sup? And he's like, sup? I guess he didn't get it. When I'm high, I get it. Mm. Well, keep calm then. Watch anime. Enjoy it. It's meatloaf night. Got the munchies. Excited. <laughs> the point in time, right? <laughs> That's a funny movie. Oh, God. Well, like I said, uh, you're on Popper Anime Punks live stream. Uh, weekdays, I usually typically don't stream. I usually stream on the weekends. Um, but I've been trying to uh, counterbalance. Uh, dealing with uh, relatives and family visiting so I've been trying to uh, manage some time to, to stream and to uh, do my side gig so not my side hustle my side gig <clears throat> I clarify that this isn't a hustle this is a rumble What is it? Okay. Add something there, but... <laughs> Forget where I was going. That's what I was gonna say. Uh, oh, so... Won't be able to stream uh, during the weekdays. Um, at certain times um, until the weekend so if I'm off and on like I'll keep you updated excuse me I'll keep you updated but hmm. post on discord and I uh, post on uh, mm. stream updates in the community. So, you know, I can chat and be like, oh, okay. It's taking a day off. Mm. Maybe. But it's meatloaf night. Excuse that night. Mm. Tomorrow's Wednesday. All right. It's the middle of the week. All right. Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't know who that wrestler is, but I always find that, I always find that meme funny. <laughs> there's a, there's one that's like, when when uh, when they say there's extra coffee, yes yes. yes. <laughs> when you can watch all the anime you want, yes. <laughs> Chance of a lifetime. <laughs> Watch all the anime you want. Yes. <laughs> but. Say no sometimes. It's the best thing you do.
saying nothing. It's the best thing you could do. Oh, it's low battery. 20% remaining on my phone. So, that's gonna do it for this live stream and this time. I got meatloaf, so look forward to. So, thank you, Mighty Barnacle, for stopping into the chat. Thank you for watching anyone out there uh, here on Popular Anime Punk's Twitch channel. Check me out on YouTube at Popular Anime Punk, YouTube.com as well. Uh, check me out on Discord. Instagram on punk have a great day everyone uh, thanks for watching the stream thanks for watching the channel uh, I'll be back when I can uh, but if it's not later on tonight then uh, we'll be back um, Wednesday for another stream it depends on how things go so thanks for watching. Thank you for the support. Keep calm and watch anime. And thank you, Otaku uh, Box, for allowing me to represent my anime uh, hobbies here on the channel. And shout out to Firestorm for uh, hopefully sponsoring this uh, stream in the next future. The next future. In the next episode. Hopefully. <coughs> For right now, I'm Punk, and this has been a Lake Side House Time Porch Talk with yours truly, Popular Anime Punk. So, thank you. Much appreciation. Drive safe. Have a great rest of your evening or day. Until we meet again, my friends and family, and whoever you may be. Thus be done. Peace. Much love. I gotta go. I gotta go. Bye. I gotta go. I go. <laughs> I gotta go. I got meatloaf to eat. I gotta go. Why are you still watching? Go. Go watch, uh, I don't know. Hollow Live streamer. Or go watch something else. Go. Go. Fuck off!